What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about your favorite topic. How to make a lot of money online. This has gotta be one of the hottest topics on the internet. How to make money online, how to do drop shipping, how to do Etsy, how to do YouTube, how to start an e-com store. Everybody is looking for the fastest and the best way to start making that juicy passive income online. And I've made a lot of money online. I've made millions. And let's kind of go ahead and look at the process. And let's kind of wind the needle back to when I was like you, regular person working a regular job. What happened since that point in time, being a regular person, working a regular job, to where I'm at today? And I'm about to say something that you just not gonna wanna hear, but I spent a tremendous amount of money. Going through my process, having a job, having a job, having a job, starting my first business. First business made $250,000 cash in eight months. Then this is where a lot of my training and a lot of my other things came from the second version of GC Solutions. What's going on guys? Today we're gonna get into it and let me show you where we are. Um, one of the things that is happening, make sure that we can bring that up. Yep. All right. So this is what's happening with the corporate citizen playbook. I had put out that this wasn't going to be done until the end of July. Uh, that was wrong. I'm going to get that done the end of May. So the price is going to go up and I want you to see what's in there. We've got a lot of stuff in there. We've got some power days. We got some other stuff in there. The S, -Corp S Corporation Formation and Guidance, my hidden holding company, and this right here, corporate banking. Your holding company banking, holding company accounts, setting up your operational bank accounts, the $100,000 loan hack for your starter business, the American Express credit hack. These are things that you cannot find on YouTube. They're nowhere where to be seen. And I'm gonna tell you why you can't find them on YouTube. Because I'm a technician. I'm out here doing this in real life. I'm doing this for real. So this is some information that you can't get anywhere else. And it can be literally life-changing for a lot of people. So you, you're getting this information and I'm telling you that this course is going to be done no later than May 31st, maybe the first, and it's going to be done and we got a lot of stuff to go in. So what you want to do is go in, go into the description or go to the comment section. And what you want to do is go ahead and get in this course today using promo code jump J U M P, which will get you a massive discount and set you in the position to get everything else that I am getting ready to create as we go down this pathway of making people corporate citizens and getting to that $250,000 per year annual income. That's the goal, that's what we're working on. And there's so many things that are gonna come this year that are literally gonna blow your mind. So what you wanna do is get in. Like I said, it's gonna be done much sooner than July. <laughs> it's in that. We're not even gonna make it to June. And then June, we will be doing how to make a lot of money with YouTube. So go ahead, get in the course, get the lessons, because there's a lot of things for you to start working on at the moment. The second version of GC Solutions, I sold like one point, almost 1.7 million in brand new commercial office furniture where the margins were not the same as me selling used furniture, not even close. And I made some mistakes and I made a huge mistake with a client. 
And after a client gives you a check for $250,000, you can't say, hey, we need more money because I made some mistakes. You just have to eat it. So during that phase, I learned so much about measurements, mistakes, management. And I would say those mistakes that I made cost me about $300,000 right there in that one frame, about 300K of spent money, money that I did not, that literally spent money. Then my next phase, which was the storage auction phase, I spent $30,000 to learn how to buy storage units. Really, really interesting story because I was out there and I was just like you guys before I wrote the book, Making Money, A to Z with self storage and auctions. I didn't know what was going on. I had no clue to what was going on. So I was out there and I would bid on what looked to be a good unit It'd be a complete dumpster. It'd be just trash, right? So I was out there and I was spending money. I was spending money. I was buying stuff. I was spending money, spending money. And then I began to notice a few things that the people who were always spending money, they bought these big full units or the people at stores bought specific things for their stores. So I started to duplicate that process and I became successful but we're now at the point where we're at three hundred and thirty thousand dollars spent to learn how to do business and then I came to the internet and this is an interesting thing as I spent money it got lower and lower and lower because I spent between because it's, it's kind of hard to remember because I'm going to say I spent $5,000 on the internet stuff. That's what I'm thinking. And that was buying computers, hosting my own domain. So I think I spent that. Oh, snap. I spent $400,000 getting in the car rental business, which was an absolute failure, absolute failure, which is a hundred thousand more than I spent in the commercial office building. So 300, 330, 335 plus 400 is $735,000 that was spent teaching me how to be in business. So interestingly enough, if I'm looking at the pattern, the pattern remains the same. After that large spin, then my spin dropped down dramatically. That's real interesting, but that's what I had to do to learn how to make money online. Uh, I spent a lot of money. And here's the thing. I know, I know there's your favorite YouTubers who come up. Hi, my name is Josephine and I'm going to teach you how to start a business for absolutely free because that's how I started my business. And I don't believe in online courses. I don't believe in training and I'm just going to help you giving you all of the things that I did to start my business. Once again, congratulations if you found that person. If the training that you're getting from this person is putting money in your pocket, congratulations. God bless you. But typically, that's not going to get you the type of money that I've made. Ain't even gonna get you close. So once again, salute to you, hats off to you, and you enjoy yourself. But I have spent $735,000 to learn how to do business. And I've made millions. Let's go ahead and look. 2017, 
which the year I had the heart attack and I didn't work for seven months that year. 2020, 21, 22. So we have six years that I have made more than the 735,000 that I spent to learn how to start a business. And I have heard of other people who have spent a lot of money for consulting and stuff. And that was one of their successes because I watch videos of people who are putting up free content. And as a content creator, as a content, well, as a online course, as a teacher, there's a lot of things they're leaving out. Because here's the thing. Um, my recent course, uh, the Corporate Citizen Playbook, is at about five hours. It'll say 4.5, but it's at about five, because once I add something else, it'll, it'll be five. And that's not even finished. And I look at the money management course. The money management course is 3.5 hours. I look at the productivity course. The productivity course, I think, is at 4.5 hours, I believe. And essentially, it takes time for you to learn a new skill. And typically, typically, and I know this from experience, the lessons where you spent a lot of money and it didn't go well, they stick to the bone marrow. Because uh, when I was in the commercial office furniture business, and I, uh, I spent that 300,000, I was like, I gotta find something that makes some money. Um, fortunately me, because I had money on hand, I did not suffer, I didn't lose anything, but I did learn so much in doing that business. And typically, if you want to make a lot of money online, you need to spend money because your money will hold your attention. The more money, like the car rental business, I spent $400,000. Now, actually, let's go ahead and talk about that because I have three cars left. Actually, I spent less than $400,000 because uh, I have to subtract the selling of the cars. Wow, actually, that's not as bad as I thought it was because when I look at the selling of the cars and the tax advantages, I didn't spend 400,000. I'm actually coming out ahead about 100K with the selling of the cars and the tax re rebate. So actually just take that off the list. You could take that off the list because I didn't lose any money. And interestingly enough, because I have become more skilled with business, because this is the beauty of it. And this is one of the reasons that Warren Buffett, um, this is one of the reasons that Carl Icahn, Warren Buffett's 92, Carl Icahn is 87. The longer that you're in business, the more that you do business, the smarter that you get. So because I've been in business for a while, that's why I did not take the big L on the car rental business. Cause I had to really, really think about that because I've sold the majority of the cars. Interestingly, little tidbit here. I'm glad I sold a lot of those cars last year because prices are crashing. And um, I would say with the wrecked cars and everything, I lost about a hundred K off the price of the majority of those cars and the price of cars are going lower, lower, lower. So I got rid of the majority of them. So I'm gonna probably lose, once I get rid of all these cars, 100K. But due to the tax benefits and the depreciation and the losses, I'm gonna be up about 100K because of business and learning how to do business and setting up business. So yeah, we could take that off. So we're back down to 300, and 35k 335k is what i have spent to learn business in this year there has been some other tests that i have run that did not work and those tests cost me about i'm gonna say 15,000 
So that's gonna put me in about 350,000. And I know a lot of you are bristle and just swoosh, throw stuff at the computer screen when I talk about spending money. But here's the thing. A lot of billionaires lost millions to become billionaires. And a lot of millionaires lost hundreds of thousands to become millionaires. See, here's how the game goes. And this is something. There's another guy, really interesting guy. You should watch his content. His name is Dan Coe, D-A-N-K-O-E, Dan Coe. And I was listening to his videos and he went through the same process. He started a lot of businesses. He spent money. It didn't work. And I bet if you ask Dan Coe how much money he spent on losing businesses, it's going to be a significant amount of money. It's going to be really, really significant because everybody wants to learn for free how to make a lot of money online. And when I say it out loud, it sounds really crazy. You want to learn for free because right now there's a lot of stuff and I will tell you why my uh, third channel, I named it the strong cocaine versus doing, I was going to do information about automation, AI and all this other stuff. And I have noticed a big shift because when uh, chat GPT came out, it was blazing. And I've seen literally YouTube channels grow off artificial information. And this is one of the things that I'm going to see, and I'm, I'm going to come off across as very aggressive. I've seen some of the dumbest crap in my life over in the AI space. I'm going to use chat GPT to create this poetry generating service. I'm going to use chat like, all right, I am, I've got art. I've got art on the walls and I have gone to so many people's houses who've had no art. And this is one of the biggest things. We're going to put the digital art on Etsy and we're going to sell it. First of all, you need to have a consumer who wants to buy art. That's the first thing you need. And I, I just see some of the dumbest stuff over there. And like with Mid Journey, let me tell you some stuff that's going on with Mid Journey since I'm using Mid Journey. Mid Journey has problems when you get to very detailed prompts or I had a prompt where I wanted a gun shooting a bag of money. It didn't want to do it. It just would not do it. So there's some issues there because I'm using the platform. I'm using chat GPT. I'm using mid journey and I'm learning a lot. And once again, I was going to spend some money on this course, but time is an issue. So that's one of the reasons, because when you take a course, you have to have the time to do it. And that's why I feel that the way that I'm doing this course right now, where you get a little bit each day, is the best thing for many people. But some people wait until the weekend to jump into the course. But back to the original topic. If you want to make a lot of money online, you need to spend a lot of money learning and developing business. And that's one of the keys that I think is missing because, you know, everyone is trying to learn for free. And this is one of the things that I saw. I, I actually know someone who did this, who was wanted to start an online business. We were talking and this person literally spent a few hundred hours watching free content. And he tried to take that free content, hundred hours of fr watching free content, he tried to take that free content and shape up his e-commerce site and it never worked out. And then uh, he was talking and he just said, how do you make money online? And I said, what do you have to sell? Because, you know, I was like, look, I'm not going to sit here and have these conversations and teach you for free how to make money online. I was like, you want to know why? Because if I just tell you for free, you're not going to do anything with the information. You're just not. The money is the anchor to hold your attention. So I said, give me $5,000. This is someone I know and he said, gave me 5,000. And then we started to dive into what he can do. And literally, I mean, 29 days later, he had a fully functioning e-commerce website that he was making sales on. 29 days. So, 
you know, this whole notion of, I don't want to pay, I can learn for free. And one of the things that I am seeing right now is a lot of how to use social media to get customers, which I have been using YouTube to get customers since 2009. I've been doing this 14 going on 15 years. One of the things that you will not find in that free content is when you use social media to get customers, your sales go like that. They're up and down, they're up and down. My best year was 2020, it was 3 million. And uh, that's the best I've ever done in one year using social media. But what was happening in 2020? We had the pandemic. The pandemic helped me greatly, helped me tremendously. So one of the things that you have to understand, and this is why at some point I am going to use paid advertising, but hear, hear me, hear me, hear me. My business is not at a point to use paid advertising. Like, let me go ahead and explain to you what I'm getting ready to do. First of all, I have the free money course. Then I have the, the productivity course. Then I have the corporate playbook. And then I'm gonna have the YouTube training. I'm gonna have something that I have lead pages, which I already paid for. I'm going to have a lead page and I'm gonna direct traffic to that lead page Maybe, because once again, I'm still thinking, figuring it out, but I'm not at a point where I don't have the digital assets to run paid ads. Now I could create some digital assets. Uh, I'm really thinking about creating digital assets for how to make a lot of money with YouTube because YouTube is hot. I uh, literally, YouTube, is so hot and you see so many people i've seen people there's a number of people who have jumped in the personal finance hint hint high rpms high cpms a lot of people have jumped in the credit card space a lot of people have jumped in the banking space um not been watching a lot of investment videos but here's the thing these people are let me go ahead and just say it most youtubers are reporters they go out, they study the craft, they, they really study it, and they come back and they report what they have found. What makes me different? I am a technician. I'm out here in these streets doing it for real. I am swinging that ax. I am stacking that meat. I'm out here doing this for real. And this is why my training comes across. My training hits differently because it is coming from a real world perspective based upon real world reactions because uh, when I like I'm just here to tell you as we go into these deeper courses as we go and we build out these systems and we build out these things it's just gonna get better and better and better because I've spent so much money failing and learning how not to fail um, that has given, that has captured my attention. Now, let's go back to the car rental business. Even though I'm not taking a $400,000 loss, like with the commercial office furniture business, that was a $300,000 loss, um, it still got my attention. Because see, when you spend that money, that money has your attention. Like my friend, who literally spent all this time watching all these free videos, I, I literally, saw when Amazon FBA was the YouTube hot child. Amazon FBA was very, very hot. And I would see people talking about, I would watch such and such channel to, and I watch all this free information to get all these ideas. And these folks were so hesitant to spend any money. They were hesitant to spend money. And they wasted so much time. It's kind of like the person that would drive 25 miles to save 13 cents on eggs. You wasted more money in gas looking for the eggs than if you went to your local supermarket and just bought the eggs. You would have came out cheaper spending more money for your eggs at your local supermarket versus just driving around. And this is what a lot of people on the internet are doing. They're just driving around. I'm gonna watch all the free content I can. I'm gonna watch all the free content I can. Now, 
I will say that YouTube and internet access is very useful. Like if I wanted to learn how to drywall, you know, do drywall, which I don't have to learn because I already knew because I learned as a kid. But there's a YouTube video how to do drywall. There's a YouTube video how to lay bricks. There's a YouTube video how to fix your car, how to do certain things, right? But in the world of business, and this is where things get very different. In the world of business, things are consistently changing. And like, I'll give you a really good example. Wells Fargo. Before this year, you could not get a Wells Fargo business credit card without showing your taxes. Wells Fargo and Wells Fargo used to have what was called a secured credit card product. Wells Fargo got rid of the secured credit product. They got rid of the taxes. You can walk into Wells Fargo right now, open up a business checking account and apply for their credit card product. So business is always changing. And if you're looking for this free information, like one of the things I got caught up with, I got caught up with uh, Capital One. I was reading on some internet forums that Capital One had some business credit cards that did not report to your personal. So what did I do? I go out and I apply for a Capital One business credit card. What did I find out? They're reporting to my personal credit. So, you know, there, there's this, this is why I'm saying I'm a technician. Uh, I actually, I'm out here doing this. I actually have a business that makes money. I actually have a business that files taxes. I actually, I'm out here doing this. I'm out here doing this in real life. And one of the things that I, I will tell you is this fear of spending money. Like earlier this year, when I spent about 15,000 and I'll actually share with you what I did. I had this wild ideal, right? That I would go out and buy an email list. And I got, uh, at the moment, I have a million people that I bought their email list. And it was one of the most wasteful money because literally I would email because originally I bought 500,000 and I would email them and I would get, what happened is each time I sent an email, the number of opens would go down, 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 down. And no one actually, the, it, nothing happened. I was emailing 500,000 people and nothing happened, nothing happened. Because the guy that I talked to at the organization, he's like, yeah, you should get all this. He just straight up lied to me, right? And then another guy, because I did a, a chargeback, because I was just sitting there like, this crap doesn't work. And it cost me like $10,000. I did a chargeback. And then what I did is I got another, so I got a million, um, million people database with a million people, right? But I know for a fact that I would have to do way more than just email these people to get their attention. And that was one of the things that, you know, it, was just, it just didn't work. You know, I had an ideal, I spent some money, it didn't work. So once again, um, I can still use those email lists in the future once I start running paid advertising. So it's not like this is a huge loss, but I will be able to use the million people email list once I start running ads and start marketing to them. So it's not a loss, but it, it's once again, I am not afraid to spend money. I'm not, if I, once again, if I need some, I want some, I'll spend the money. But if you are in stark raving fear of spending money, um, you might learn how to make a lot of money online. You might build something that could happen. Um, but I would attribute my success online to that $350,000 that I spent failing. 350,000. And you've got millionaires out here who are losing hundreds of thousands to become millionaires. And you got billionaires who lost millions to become billionaires because money, money holds your attention. And when you're spending money, like this is a statistical fact. Credit card companies know that you spend more money using a credit card than you spend with cash. So once again, when you're spending that real money, it holds your attention, it gets you in a different perspective. So if you want to make a lot of money online, 
you need to start spending some money. I know, I know that's not what you want to hear because everyone is looking because there's this one chick who, um, I'm not going to mention any names because I'm not trying to start any YouTube beefs, but the majority of her money comes from content creation, not business. Her business is content creation. That's the majority of her money. Her money doesn't come from business. It comes from content creation. And you will see these content creators who are like, oh, do this, do this, do this, and do that, and do your business like that, do your business like this, when the fact is they're making money off you watching their content. That's where the majority of their money comes from because I was just sitting there and I listen to the things she says and I look at what she does. And one of the things I consistently see is the pumping of content. And when you've got someone who is consistently pumping content that is full of, you can do it, you can make it, you don't have to spend any money. That's how they make their money. Not mad, once again, I'm not mentioning someone on YouTube beefs. I'm not mentioning any names. Cause you know, that, that, that was something that I used to do and that's part of the revamp. I'm not mentioning names. I'm not getting into it with any other YouTubers, but typically if you want to make a lot of money online, typically you're going to need to spend a lot of money in business and developing business and setting things up. All right. So as you guys now know, it is almost the end of May and, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I'm gonna get the corporate citizen playbook done this month, which means that the discount is getting ready to disappear. So if you wanna go ahead and set yourself up for success and get this training with this massive discount, because use the promo code JUMP, J-U-M-P, it gives you a massive discount, and then you set yourself in a position to get everything else that I'm going to do this year. And one of the things that's going to happen is we're right after we finish up the corporate citizen playbook, we're getting into the YouTube training. And that's where I feel a lot of people are going to get into it because every day I sit down and I think about how I'm going to do the YouTube training, how I'm going to set it up. And I need to work on that a little bit today the formation of that, but the YouTube training and the YouTube training is how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel, because I'm going to hit you with some facts that you did not even know. So if you want to be available, make these offers available to yourself, go below. It's going to be in the comment section and it's going to be in the description section. Go below and get the corporate citizen toolbox. Use promo code jump J U M P go ahead and get in that and position yourself for greatness because we're going to be great this year. We're going to do a lot of stuff. We're going to make some money. We're going to set ourselves up to be those kind of people this year. My name is Glennon Cameron. I will see you guys in the very next video.